Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Runaway Teen Challenge. We're here with Katrina and the baby. She is sleeping, I believe. Alright, just starting my timer. Um, she's going to go ahead and sleep for a little while, but the baby... Oh no, I guess they're all getting kicked out of what they were doing. Put Trent in the crib, and then get in here and go to sleep. Speed you up just a little bit. Alright, let's see. No! You gotta put the baby in the crib! Oh, jeez. She doesn't listen, does she? Guess not. Um, we do have gifts to accept, so we gotta do that in the morning. Well, it is the morning, but I guess when she gets up. Morning time. Alright, let's see. Get this taken care of, get him in the crib, and you should be good. And then go ahead and sleep yourself, because you're pretty tired. All right, are you tired too? Eh, not really. So he was okay. All right, so I'm gonna go up into town and I just wanna look around at some places that we could go to. So this right here is a bar. I don't think she can get into a bar. I actually, I think she can because little children can get into bars. Um, there is the training grounds and the equestrian center. This is a fishing pond so we could go fishing. I see, I think those are spotlight mushrooms that you see shining down there. This is the grave, the graveyard. Oh no, it's a chapel? Man, what? I'm confused. <laughs> I thought it was a graveyard because it's got the graveyard sign. But I guess maybe it's a graveyard slash chapel. Uh, this is the criminal career. Over here we have the vault of antiquity. I never thought about this, but we could be going there every single day. At, I believe it's 6 o'clock. You can go in there. It's like an hour. You have an hour to get in there. Um... If she goes there, she could actually get a lot of money if she won first place. So we could go there tonight, maybe. There is the uh, consignment store. This here is just like an open field. We could go to the library, which also has another vault of antiquity. Um, man, there's just a lot we could do. We could, well, really the Arboretum, it doesn't really do much for us. I do want to go to the the festival, but I'm not sure we're going to get there before she's, because it closes and then, you know, there's nothing really to do after hours. Um, Total Sim Fitness, we've been there. We've got the Gypsy Wagon over here, which has the weather stone with it. The, that's actually a good place for it to be, too. We could buy some stuff. Um, now, looking in this side of the town, as we never come over here at all, this has got a lot more of the other kinds of things that we would be doing. Um, it's got playgrounds and things. I don't know which house we're going to try and get into, but I'm trying to get her the most money before she becomes a young adult. So that when she is a young adult, we could actually buy a house and move and, you know, just have a house for her. So, I wasn't sure when you ended this LP to, speaking of, alright, let me speed her up just a little bit. I wasn't sure when this LP would be ending because of the fact that um, it doesn't really say like when you have to end it. So what I'm going to do is once she finishes off her lifetime wish, which is to become an astronaut, and she's married and has another child with her husband, I'm going to end it after that because I think that's a pretty good time and she'll make plenty of money in the military career. We'll get her husband's career, even we could try and finish his, but pretty much, that's pretty much where I'm going to end it. It's not like a certain epi amount of episodes like some of the other things that we've done before are. Um, so that's kind of what I was thinking. And it shouldn't take us too long to get there. The military career is actually pretty easy. But what she needs for the military is athletics. So we need to get her working on the athletic skills, which she doesn't have. The higher up that we are when we start that career, the better off we'll be. So we'll be having to take care of that today in just a little bit. When she gets up, let's go ahead and let her take care of little poor little Trent. He is just not in the happiest of moods right now. Go ahead and change his diaper. Go ahead and give the poor kid a bottle. Go ahead and snuggle him. Go ahead and play with him. He'll wake her up. And then go ahead and snuggle him again. And then he should be pretty well taken care of. And then you're going to get up and you're going to start doing some stuff around the house. Now I thought about it. We could make this have a basement if we wanted and just do it that way. 
All right, you didn't have to do that, but he's, you know, he's hungry and stuff, and you just are sleeping over here. So go ahead and put Trent in there. We could also go up. We could put a little staircase in here and go up a little bit because she's going to live here until she's a young adult. And that's not for another 21 days because I really maxed that out for the fact that it's supposed to be about being a teen runaway. So I want to be able to get that taken care of. All right, we could get that gem that's way over there, but we'd have to take the baby with us and we need to take care of our needs first. So let's get this taken care of. All right, he's good other than energy, so you're good. And you guys should have a really good relationship. You guys are good friends. You guys are disliked, so that's pretty bad. All right. So, yeah, so that's where I'm, what I'm thinking for this LP. So it's not going to be much longer. It might get to about maybe, I don't know, maybe 30 episodes, and then we'll probably be done. Um, it really depends on what I decide to do, so... We'll have to figure it out and just in time as we go. All right, when you're done eating, let's get you to clean that up. Oh, you're going to do it already. Good for you, girl. All right, and then I want you to come over here and accept gifts from a friend. Now, we have to figure out who we're going to get with, and that's the whole thing. We've only got a couple of choices as teens, but as a young adult, we'll definitely have more choices. So we could definitely wait and try and find someone as a young adult instead of a teen. It'd be a lot easier, and we would probably have a... a better selection to go for. All right, now, in my gifts, I believe I only have a couple of gifts in here, and I don't know if any of them need to go to a certain LP or not, so let's just wait and see if they pop up or not. I don't know if they will. All right, Angel Mize and Owen Ogden are awaiting a new addition to their family. The couple are now expecting a baby. That's cute. All right, so this is for Hunger Games. This is from... 9876546614. Thank you for the flowers. You're so welcome. And we're getting 200 simoleons. Thank you so very much for that. Let me go ahead and see if I can send back gifts. My internet just might be slow. Oh, I got an hour and a half. Okay, well, then I will only take what's for her. This is for mm, nothing. All right, you haven't got anything. All right, so none of these are actually sent to her, so I'm just going to hold off a bit on it. Well, because I want to be able to send you guys back something, so that's where I'm going with that. All right, 200 simoleons is perfect, so thank you so much for that. We could let you take a nap, but you want to play the guitar? Nah, let's let you look through here. This way you get a little bit of skill, and you could make some money through this as well. Well, the baby just kind of sits here at the house. So we have about, oh, we have about 400 simoleons, a little more than 400 simoleons, and that would be fine. Speaking of, I do have the woohooer mod, so she could get with a young adult if we found someone that we absolutely liked. But as of right now, we don't really know anyone, so it's probably not that big of a deal. All right, you're up to the logic skill level two. That's good. Oh, we just I think we just got another gift. All right, um... This also gives her fun, so it's something that's good for her. All right, we also need, oh, we could get athletic from this. Play soccer instead. You're going to play soccer inside? Well, I didn't think you were going to do that, but okay. All right, so you play this, and it should give you athletics. All right, Owen Ogden and Angel Mize are now getting married. All right, that's fine. And since she does have some money, I think we might change up her outfit in a little bit. But for right now, she's okay. We'll see what we can come up with in just a little bit. Yeah, this does ruin your energy, but it does give you a lot of fun. So that's fine. We'll just do it until we can't do it anymore, and then we'll move on. All right, the baby does need some assistance, too. So when you're done, change his diaper. Go ahead and give him a bottle. I almost said change his outfit. He doesn't have a different outfit. Go ahead and snuggle him. Go ahead and play with him. Go ahead and snuggle him again. And then he should be good. You go ahead and put him back. And then I'm going to get you out here. You're going to take a couple naps. And then we're probably going to head out for the night. Because by that time, it should be right around 6 o'clock, I would think. So that's fine. All right. And we've got some money. 
I'm not really worried about anything. She's got everything she needs here at the house. All right, so they're sleeping. Speed you guys up. All right, so I hope you guys in are enjoying this LP. And also, um, I'm going to be doing an update video. Oh, they're turning sour. Okay. Um, I'm going to be doing an update video pretty soon. So um, the update video is going to be talking about some of the new challenges and things that I want to do or that I want you guys to go ahead and leave comments of what you guys would like to see. Some people have le left me comments like Generations um, Expansion Pack LP, which I'll be doing. All right, let's get you up. And we need to call a babysitter um, for services, call for services. Um, yeah, so it's like you guys have quite a few ideas, but I don't know. We'll have to figure out what we're going to do, and it's really going to take just some time to get through some of these LPs that I'm already doing. Some of them are set to a certain number that I have already, so they won't be continuing for much longer. Some of them, they're just a couple of episodes more, and they'll be done, but... um yeah, I would like to hear what you guys want to want to see me do as an LP, and I would really just enjoy doing what you guys would like to see and seeing if you guys could come up with anything that I already haven't come up with. So that was my kind of idea, but I'll be posting an an update video. So just figure out what you guys would like to see, and then when I post it, you guys can leave the the answers on that. So that'd be fine. All right, we're gonna go over here and cut these gems at the elixir consignment store so let's get her over there and then let's go ahead and see go on inside and let's cut these is there not a cutting machine here oh there isn't is there uh, it's really aggravating you know what? I want to see what's in this thing. So go down here and open this. No one was outside, so I'm not worried about it. Alright, go over here. I think... Yeah, you can't enter because it's at 6 p.m. There's a money bag! Oh, nice! Let's go ahead and cash... That. Oh my goodness! 1,073! Wow! Alright. That was exciting. That made me really excited now. <laughs> Alright, so it's 8.30. Who's that? What's your name, lady? Oh, it's paparazzi. Idiotic paparazzi. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. I was going to cut gems, but I guess we can't because we don't have any gems to cut. I'm going to send her over to the gym, if I can find it. What's this? Best Police Department. Okay. This is the gym. These buildings are funky. All right. We got to make sure that he's not in here. I don't believe he is. Nope. All right. So go here by running. Speed you up on four so that we don't have to worry about it. All right, when you get over here, we're going to let you run on the treadmill. Work out. And we're going to do it until about 10.30, and then we're going to send you home. So go ahead. As you can see, this is her, her athletic wear. It's nothing spectacular. It's just a different color, really. All right, don't break a sweat. It's just a different color for her to use for those pants and a tank top. Pretty much what I was going for is, I don't know, I should have kept it the same color because I was thinking, well, she just took her shirt off and she went ahead and worked out. But now it doesn't really make sense that the pants are different colors, so that's fine. I'm not worried about it. All right, so she's got her athletic skill, which is great. We do need her baby. Come on. It's pretty sad that the baby is that <laughs> desperate for something and the babysitter's not taking care of him. All right, we're going to have to make you run home in just a second. So, all right, let's get you to stop. Whoa. And I know she didn't. 
I know she didn't get very much here, but that's okay. She got almost two, which is good. That means that she could come home and she could, you know, play with the soccer ball and be almost done. So go here by running. We're going to follow you so I make sure no one sees you that is not supposed to see you. Whoops. We're supposed to be following you. So, yeah. So we just, you know, we've done a lot, but that's okay. All right. So, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Pause. I think that's him. <gasps> Go over here. Go here by running. Hurry up before he turns around. Whoo, we caught that one quick, didn't we? That was really scary. <laughs> I thought he was going to see her. I really did. That was really horrible. All right, let's get you to go here by running. Go. Where'd she go? Oh, she goes on the street. Well, thank God he's just walking that way. All right, there we go. Yeah, we're out after curfew, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do for her, since she's on that street and we're headed back home, I feel bad that she has to run everywhere, but she could pay for a taxi, which would cost her five simoleons, but really, I don't want her to do that. I would rather her just do what she needs to do. All right, girl, are you almost here? Are you going to use the telescope? Oh, no. She got caught. What did you do? You took the long route? Yeah, see, when I don't control her, isn't that the police way up there? Maybe not. When I don't control her, she goes different ways, and she probably would have been home already because I would have made her cross through this. So that's kind of my fault, but she's getting busted. So that's another 500 simoleons that we have to take off of the top of her money. Uh, if we hadn't have run into him, we would have been fine. So 500 simoleons, we're short by 12, so we're going to be at um, 988, right? 900, let's see, <laughs> now I'm can't, yeah, 988. All right, that's still fine, we're still doing good. Okay, so you got busted again. Oh, now it's going to be even less, isn't it? Shoot. All right, so 500 from that. It's like almost, man, that was a lot of money. All right, let's get you in here. What are you going to do? No, wait. Let's get you to use, go ahead and take a shower, go ahead and eat organic waffles, and then I'll send you to bed. And while you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and reset your money. Let's see. Got busted for 500. We're going to pay it in just a second. So it's 913 that she'll have after she pays this. So let me go ahead and do this now. Testing, cheats, enabled, true. Family, funds, whoops, funds. Million, 913. There we go. 500 was taken away for getting busted again. Thank goodness we looked inside that thing. I hope one another many bag spells, um comes up in there because that was really easy money. All right, speeding you up so you get through this just a bit, tad bit faster. The baby is okay. He doesn't really need anything, so she's going to go to bed and we'll be fine after that. I'm glad she doesn't get like the grounded mood lid or anything like that because that would just be ridiculous. It's kind of ridiculous to have her get caught, but in a way it's not because, you know, cops are like that. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and cut out here, and I'll be back when she's getting up for her day. Be back in just a second. All right, so Trent got her up in the middle of the night, but we took care of his needs, and he's fine. She doesn't really have any needs for today, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to let her, I don't know, you could do whatever you want to do. He doesn't really need anything. He just needs sleep, so she's fine. Let's make you, oh, the bus is here. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll ride the bus. All right, you should have called the babysitter, which is what we should have been working on, but that's all right. That's fine. 
Someone said that I can't let her go to school, but that's not in the rules. I don't know if you guys are, you guys have like an updated version of the rules or something, but from what I understand, she can use this, she can go to school as many times as she wants to, but I don't know. I really didn't see it, so I dub I even double checked. I thought like I second guessed myself and I thought like I was making a mistake. But I don't see it in the rules, so I'm not sure what rules you guys are reading. Let me pause for just a second. I want to make sure that he's not over here. Oh he is. Girl, get inside before he turns and sees you. Well, she's kinda of hidden by the bus. I don't think he could see her. And he's going inside his house. He always seems to be out when we're, like, over on this side of the town. But that's okay. She's... <gasps> don't you be doing anything sassy. Sassy Zimmerman. Him and his wife have been arguing and fighting for, like, the last two days. Let's go over and look at Albert. Alberto! I really like his house. I want your house, buddy. He's going inside now. Yeah, we come over to look at him and he's like, I'm headed inside. No. Aw, the kitty cat. When she becomes a young adult, we should just come over here and fight this man. <laughs> That'd be too funny, wouldn't it? Bring over his kid, fight him, and then leave. <laughs> be too funny. Alright, well, he's inside now. Oh, he's looking out the window, though. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. What are you doing? He's like, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Sayonara. Where'd he go? He just vanished. <laughs> sometimes that happens, sometimes they don't. It's weird. Alright, so she's inside. There's some more people expecting babies. She'll be fine for a while. <clears throat> we could get her out back to dumpster dive, and I just realized this is out here actually. So when you're done with school, come over here. Oh no, you can't until six. Urgh, sometimes I wish that didn't I didn't ever make that rule. But the whole point is, is it's to make it more challenging to make money. That was kind of what I was going for. All right, the poor baby's sleeping. He's tired. So at 6 o'clock, maybe we'll have her come here. And you know what? I want to have her actually at 6 o'clock. She can go home on the bus or whatever she needs to do. Just don't take a taxi because we can't afford one. All right. Um. Yeah, so this is what the town looks like. I didn't know it had a waterfall or a couple of waterfalls actually looks really hot. It looks really hazy. Yeah, so it's just a really nice town. And if you're, if you guys are looking for these towns, they're on Sim Realty's um, site for picking up worlds. Um, so yeah, but you'd probably have to have a lot of the, a lot of the expansion packs and everything. So if you don't have that, I don't know if you could get them without having them. I really don't know how that works, but it might just change everything out. I'm not really sure. All right, you grass the sculpting? Man, that'd be a perfect one to do. What are you in? Art? Yeah, you're in art club. All right, I didn't know you got sculpting from art club. That's pretty cool. Anything that we can do to make money is something that we could do. Now, somebody suggested, um, what did you suggest? I forgot what you said. And I'm going to hit myself when I read it again. But they suggested... Hmm. Now I'm totally blanking. Um, man, I can't think. Um... Wow, it just totally slipped my mind. I just had it like a couple minutes ago. Well, you suggest like to get something and sell it when it would be it would be easy money, but now I got to be able to remember what that was. So who knows what it was? I don't know. I can't remember. Now I'm just sitting here trying to think of what it was, which is horrible. Is that him? Nah, that's a consignment, man. The consignment, sir. I really do love this consignment store. It's very different. Um, the only bad thing is you can't really do very much there, but that's okay. Over here, though, we could do the... Um, 
What the heck? Does that person not have a face? Oh, she does. You just can't see it. I was like, wow, where'd her face go? Um, yeah, I don't remember what someone suggested, so I'll have to look back and see what they said. But it was a really great idea, and I had never even thought about it. Now that I can't remember it, how good does that make me look? Probably pretty horrible. All right, so you got your painting up to skill level two. That's good. Oh, we could paint and make some money that way, but we'd need an art easel. That Not that we don't have the money to get one, but that's okay. All right, she's coming on out. And we're going to send you home, but we're going to do it the old-fashioned way. All right, let's go ahead and go here by running. And then, actually, we should just click for you to go over here. But you're going to take the long way if I tell you to do it that way. So go ahead and do that. And then when you get there, we'll let you run here. Go here by running. All right, so the baby should be fine. Let's get you out here to nap. That way we get that taken care of. She's completed a painting in the art club. The painting can be found in her inventory. Nice. Let's look at this while you're taking your nap. Yeah, the baby's sleeping. Pause. Stop. Get up. You gotta take care of your son. What do you need, boy? You need your dirt, dirty diaper changed. We can do that for you. We can give you a bottle. We can go ahead and snuggle you. We can go ahead and play with you and then snuggle you again. So let's see. Snuggle. Alright, let's look at this painting. I want to see what it looks like. It's probably not that great, but that's okay. Aww, we'll put it right there. That's too cute. And it'll become appreciated, I do believe. Go ahead and name it. What do you want to name it? Let's name it My Family. Aww, that's too cute. It's her and her son. Frame it. <laughs> we'll just leave it there. Alright, go ahead and put Trent back in the crib. You gotta pay bills. And then we're gonna head out on the town, and I know she's exhausted, but she'll be fine. Yeah, we're gonna go over and check that chest again. I really do like her view of the town. She's got a really nice view if you look at like her her angle. This is what her angle looks like. Well, not that, but look at how nice it is. She's got a really pretty view. All right, anyways. So let's get you over there. Let's get this taken care of, and then you should be good. And then we're going to head into town. You're going to have to take your son with you, so you're going to have to come over here and hold him. Because we're not paying for another babysitter. One a day is fine, but we're not going to be able to buy pay for more than that. So... If she wants to go out and do this, she's got to do it herself. And we should really just get these cut. Oh, before you do that, put the don't get the baby. Pause. I want to buy something. <laughs> yeah, who doesn't? Um, let's see. She can make money tonight, but I'm trying to figure out what we could do with this house. We could really just make this. Okay, I have an idea. Go into build mode. I want to build a basement. Should I build a basement or should I build another level up? Let's go up actually. Go back. I never build a basement because the fact is I hate the basements. I really do. And since we're poor and we don't got a lot of room in our house, let's just use a ladder. Where can we put this ladder? Anywhere? Here? A floor must be present to the left or right at the top. Oh, okay. So let's do this. Pull this up here. Put this up. We'll have to fix that in just a second. And then go ahead and go back. Put this ladder um, right there. That way you guys can come upstairs. That's what we put on the outside of your house? Man. Didn't know that, but that's alright. Let's go ahead and put up walls. I don't know. Oh, we only... Oh, I already spent all your money. Man. All right, what I'm going to do then, 
let's go into buy mode. <clears throat> this may be really idiotic and look really dumb, but that's okay. I want to get you a gem cutter. That's what we're going for right now. I don't know if there's one in town or not, but for us, oh, all right, never mind. Just undo that. Just undo it. Is that it? Okay. We don't have enough to do it, so we'll have to wait until we get a little bit more money to be able to do that. Okay, pick up your child. Hold your baby. All right. I really should have taken the gifts for her, but that's okay. I really love that photo for this family. It's too cute. All right, so I'm going to have you. See, I don't want her to run the really long way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make you go, go here by running. Go ahead and speed you up. And then I'm going to get you to come over here. Pause. Slow down. All right, over here. No. Let's have you go here, but run there. And we're going to follow you. You're going to go dumpster diving tonight. And then right before we have to go home, or like maybe an hour or two before we have to go home. Where are you going? Go over here. Come here. Use these stairs. No. Use the stairs. You can't use these stairs. Well, this is just idiotic. Get over here. Use the stairs. No. You can't use these. Go here. Run. Man, what is wrong with you? Wasting an hour on this. If you can't use these, we're just going to leave. We're not doing that. Use the stairs. No. All right, then you're not going to go up there and dumpster dive. That was the whole thing. Man, you don't listen to me, do you? Um... I don't know if you can go in here and open this again and get another money bag out of it, but we're certainly going to try. I hope this is not him, but I have a bad feeling it is. So let's get you to go here by running. He's gone anyways. All right, come on. All right, let's make sure no one's over here. No. What's this thing? Catch this bug. No. Go here by running. Man, she doesn't listen, does she? Probably not. All right. Pause. Let's get you down. Let's get you to use the stairs. Go. You can't use the stairs with your son? Okay, well, fine. Leave him with the bugs. That's real nice of you. All right, slow down, pause. I feel like I waste a lot of time on those high speeds. Go ahead and open this and see if there's anything else inside. Nope, there's not. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead and get out of that. Come over here and catch this bug. We really need to be watching. Eh, just the cat. That poor cat. Oh, you're an adult now? You can finally get up those stairs and you don't have to stay outside? I was going to say, that poor cat's lived outside this whole entire idiotic game. Alright, pick up Trent. And then, I want you... It's not even 10 o'clock yet, so you got plenty of time to do this. I want you to come over here. So, go here by running. All right, go ahead and put down Trent, and then you're going to dumpster dive at least twice, and then we're going to send you home with your son, with the baby this time. So when you're done, go ahead and pick this poor kid up. She found a bed! Yes! We got a bed! <laughs> yeah! That was perfect. I probably just screamed in your guys' ears. I'm really sorry, but I got excited. <laughs> Alright. Pick him up. We did good. Pick him up. I don't know what you're crying about. Okay, we got about a half an hour to run there. Do you think we can do it? I hope so. Let's get you... Go here by running. Speed you up. Uh-oh. 
I'm hoping since she's not on a main road, they won't know she's out here. And then go ahead and go here by running. All right, we're back home. Go ahead and put your poor baby in the crib. You need to come over here and take care of your needs. And then we're going to go ahead and take this thing. And we're going to sell that sucker. And we're going to take out this bed. <laughs> the bed does not fit in our house. But that's okay. We'll figure something out soon. Um, Let's see. Should I put it this way? Nah, because then you can't get through there. If you put it here, then you can't get through there. I think you might be able to get through there. I have no idea. We could sell this. I really want to keep this for the baby. And you did find a rock, so let's put that outside. All right, so go take care of your needs, and then we'll get you to bed. Man, that is exciting. Ah, we're going to have to fix that tomorrow. That's okay. It's just a broken toilet. You're going to pass out? Please don't pass out. She is. She's going to. Where are you going, girl? Get on your lot. Wake up. She's not even on her lot. That's going to be horrible. She's going to get caught. Yeah, wake right back up. There you go. See, she's out after curfew. Phew, finally, we're back home. All right, so let me see how much time I've got. Whoa, that was scary. I got about eight minutes left. Uh, buddy, what are you doing? I have no idea. Your on-call baby service will be over soon to take care of Trent. Why? I'm not paying that guy. If you take 75 simoleons out, it's because she walked off the lot. Oh, come on. She didn't even go that far. She was right here. This game. Buddy, shut up. We're trying to sleep. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and cut out here, and I'll be back for just a little bit of the rest of this episode in just a bit when she's getting up. Be back in just a second. Alright, so I just got the message that it was Trent's birthday today, so he'll be aging up to a toddler. Um, Katrina, she got a good night's sleep with this babysitter on service for her that she didn't even have to call. Her bus is going to be here in about an hour, but I want her to take a shower um, and I want her to eat, but I also want her to clean out the bad food as well, because that's just disgusting. It seems like she can get around pretty well in here, so I'm not too worried about it yet, but I want to make sure she can get into the fridge with that there. Let's see. Can you get into the fridge? Oh, yeah. She's like, sure I can. So, I mean, yeah, it's tight, but... All right, don't go to school yet. Don't clean out the bad food. We'll just send you to school. Go to school. All right. So when she gets home, she has to unclog this. She needs to clean this. She has to clean out the bad food. She could make her own bed, but hey, we're doing better than we were before, so give me credit. <laughs> we haven't made much money, but we will. We've got three bugs in here that we can sell. I want to get the gem cutter so we can go ahead and get that taken care of. Oh, you got to do your homework still, didn't you? I forgot. Um, I do want to get these gems cut and then, that one's worth a lot, but um, and get them cut and smelted or whatever we need to do to get some money from them. Just pause for just a second. I want to see if he's over there. Nope, no one's over there. Okay, go ahead. Back you go. So she's got, she's fine. We have gotten our close calls, but she's fine again for another day. All right, so she's headed on in here. Trent, you're over here at the house. He is ta well taken care of. He is not upset at all. So at least the babysitter is going to stay for today as well. So it's not even like a big deal. We just had him all night, and that was kind of nice because then she didn't have to get up and take care of the baby at all. And she didn't get woken up at all either by him having to take care of the baby. So it was pretty nice that that got taken care of. All right, now looking at her for today for after school activities, she has drama club today. So that's fine. All right, you need to feed the child. Good for you. All right, now put the baby back. Good. You just keep relaxing on our bed and reading a book. You're the weirdest babysitter I know. All right, so she's going to go to her after school activity at 2, and then she'll stay there until 4 o'clock. 
Um, research the science facility. At, yeah, we could do that, and we could get some money for that, actually. And since it's actually a thing, we could go do that before we come home. So, that would be pretty nice as well. Go ahead and talk to your friends. You don't really know this Casey kid, because he's always at your house as a babysitter. You don't really know anyone but your son, really. Your son is, like, your good friend. These guys are just your acquaintances. So, that's fine. All right, she's in her after-school activity now. This poor child. He gets picked up more than you can imagine. But he probably doesn't mind. He's a baby. You know how babies are. Alright, when she gets out of there, I'm going to send her over to the science facility. I need to find out where it is. Um, science. We may have to take a subway. <laughs> oh man, is it way over here? Yeah, it is. So we're going to have to take a subway. So... She's going to have to run all the way over here, and then she's going to go and take care of that. Let's make sure he's not out at all around so he doesn't see us, because if he is, that we're taking a, B, a trip to the B show? Sure, we could do that. All right, just pause for just a second before you come out. He's not there. I don't see anyone at this park. She's, she's good. All right, instead of going home... Let that babysitter stay there for a little bit longer. Let's get you to run over here to the to the subway. And we're going to go to the other side of town, which we've never went to. So this is a pretty exciting adventure for us. Um, I should have checked to make sure he wasn't, there was, he wasn't anywhere else, but that's all right. Go ahead and come on out. I don't think anyone's going to bother you. He's not even over there. Oh, pause. Is that him? Nah, that's paparazzi. Okay, as long as we, as long as we get out of here before someone else is around, let's make sure no one, he's not over here. It's kind of funny to play sketchy a little bit. <laughs> let's see. I don't see anyone over there. I do see a car, but you can't tell who's in a car. So, let's speed you up. We're gonna follow you. We could add our jog, but that's okay. All right, you're here. Let's go ahead and we need to find the nearest subway over there. So it looks like that. Let's see. Where's the nearest subway over here? Right here? The Starlight Lounge Station? Buddy, come on. That's it? No, maybe this one's closer. Nah, I don't think so. Well, it would be a straight down over down. This one would be like... I don't know. I don't know which is closer. So we could either go to the Starlight or the Station. Starlight or Station. Which do we want to choose? Um, let's go ahead and travel to the Starlight. I think that one's a little bit closer. We could collect that, but that's okay. Alright, we got $60 for our consignment for the large and in charge uh, elixir. Perfect. That is perfect. We got about a minute left in this episode. So I'll probably end when she's in there. And as you can see, it'll be time for her to go out and do things. So we'll have a babysitter all night long. Alright. She just passed through the doors of a lounge. No, she didn't. You've lost your mind. Alright, so here she is. Emerging from the depths of the sub subway station. I do love that. It's very perfect. This is a hot spot. Well... We're not going there. We're going over here to the science station. So let's go over here. I didn't know there was a rabbit hole combo thing for a science station and, and all that. Maybe there isn't. Maybe they just did this themselves and just put it to moved objects on with it. But I don't know. It's pretty cool. And then I'm going to let her grab a bite to eat when she's over there as well. I'm going to actually let her do that before she goes inside. So let's go ahead and go with her for just a second. All right. Yeah, that's great. You do your little music. I don't know what you're doing music for, but that's fine. All right. So let's get in here. Whoops. Oh! <gasps> Eight to six? Come on. We can't make it there that early. Man. All right. You're going to go ahead and buy food. <clears throat> well... At least we got to get over here and do something. So it's a little bit different, but it's fun. Where is that music coming from? I have no idea. All right. 
we could go someplace over here, actually. What's this place? Super 8 Motel? I have no idea. What do you want to eat? Let's eat... Let's eat a taco. Go ahead, girl. You can... You deserve to eat a taco. Will that music knock it off? Yeah, there's my time. I'm really upset that she didn't get to do that. That was what we really originally came over here for, so... That's really obnoxious, but that's fine. She got her food. Let's see where we could go out and see what we could do. I'm really upset about that on any day. Yeah, well, and you can't go to this one? You could, but we don't want to. We could go to the fire station. Um, eight motel. We're going to have to head home pretty soon, and I know my time already went off. If we go back to the subway, it's over here or over here. So what's on the way to them? Um, what's at this place? Can you learn anything here? I'm sure you probably can. Maybe not. I lied. You can't. All right, that's fine. I was just looking for a place for her to go for just a little while at least. What could you do here? You could tour the movie set. Um, I was looking for, like, a gym or something over here, but I'm not seeing one. So I guess, well, we could go here and then travel back. What time would we have to leave to get back home? Probably around 9, if you could get over here before 9 and get something done. I really think we're just going to have you run to the station, though. I think it would be best, and then you just go home from there. So let's go ahead and let you go here by running. All right, let's go ahead and let you do this. I don't think she'll make it there before 9, and if she does, I'll be impressed. I really will. And if she does, then she can go over and work out for whatever little time she has. All right, she's got about an hour. What am I thinking? Oh, it's right here, I think. I think this is where it is. No? I love those stars. How did they get those? I want those. Well, we could come in here. You know what we could do? Let's go in here and grab a prize at the, the the claw machine. You can get some really great stuff in there and make some pretty good money with that. So let's go ahead and let her do that. I can't wait until she can just drive in a car, but that's all right. I don't know where that music's coming from, but that's fine. She could have ate right here. Ding. Yeah, I don't know where it's coming from, but that's okay. This is a really nice club. You could get your photo taken and everything here. And there is a stage to perform right here. But she's not performing. Which is fine. Alright. How's this going? Yeah, so you can get some pretty cool stuff in here. <gasps> oh no! We missed his birthday! Poor Trent. I'm so sorry, buddy. We didn't mean to miss it. Well, we're here now. I'm sorry, buddy. We really didn't mean to miss your birthday. Now I feel horrible. I'm going to go ahead and use my Enros mods to go ahead and edit him really quickly. I know, guys, I'm over my time, but that's okay. I want to get him edited, and I want to get her back on her way home at least before I end. <coughs> sorry about that. My husband sprayed something, and it's making my making me crazy. Wow, you look very different for a boy. You just watched him become a child. Yeah, I wish you had, but you hadn't. All right, how about one of these? He doesn't really look like a boy, does he? We could give you this. He'd be cute with that, wouldn't he? Let's change your eyebrows. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. It's something about you. You've got a very different look. But, actually, those ones are okay. Go ahead and match it. All right, and then let's do your clothes. I don't know. It's something about maybe his skin tone. It's because Katrina, I think, has... I believe she might even have custom content skin, and that might be what it is. I want to give you something really cute. You're cutie patootie. He is very adorable. One of the cutest kids I've probably ever seen, but... I really wish I hadn't given her the custom... I thought I took it off, though. I really did. So, I don't know if I took it off or not, so... I can't really let you know what it is about him. I think he's just very pale-skinned. I think that's what it is, and it makes him look very different. 
But that's all right. He's very cute. I think he's cute anyways. He looked much like Katrina when um, he had the really long hair before I switched it over to um, the mohawk thing. He looked a lot like her when he had that. So that was really cute. But that's okay. Oh my goodness. What are these? Oh, I love it. That's perfect for you. All right. Outerwear. We'll give you the blue jacket. You can keep the blue gloves. Go ahead and take the blue pants. The black shoes can stay for swimwear. Normally I give you this. And yeah, you can keep the green shorts. That's fine. All right. So little Trent is now a toddler. We have got a toddler in our midst. We got some things we got to teach Trent. I'm nervous that we're not going to have enough time for all of this, but that's okay. She's just over there. She actually needs to start heading home in a little bit. But I wanted her to try and get as much as she could. What has she gotten already? She's gotten a freezer bunny. Well, that's nice. Give that to your son. He can play with it. Yeah, he needs to be fed. Oh, you changed the diaper? Okay. He really needs to be fed, though. Where are you putting this poor child? You know, he may want to be inside. It's kind of late. He doesn't want to be sitting out here. <laughs> it's kind of the weirdest place to put a child to feed them. I really need to get her coming home, but I'm trying to get her as, to get as much as she can. Oh, <gasps> she got a money bag! Yeah! We are on a roll! Cash that in? Oh, it's only 22 decimalians, but hey, it's worth more than nothing. So come on, give me a break. All right, we're going to get you to travel home in just a second. Actually, we got to do it now. Really would like you to finish, but you really got to do this right now. All right, I know you're way over here. What is this one called? I got to figure it out. Storybrook Connection. All right, let's travel to Storybrook Connection. Go ahead and do that now, and then we'll get you to start heading on home. And I don't believe anyone's down here. There's nothing really on the lot except for a couple parking spots, a couple benches to sit down. Who's this? Dwight Dwight Waldrop. Okay, if you say so. So yeah, we'll get her to run home in just a second when she gets here, and then I'll end the episode, which it shouldn't take her too long to get here, so we should be fine. That poor baby. He needs to go to bed. Oh, you're picking him up and taking him to bed? Okay. You were going to play with Bobo? Aw, it's too cute. Yeah, her curfew's in an hour. I know, I know, I know. Now we're still getting that idiotic music. Oh, man. All right, so let's get you to start running. First off, you could probably just run up this road, to be honest with you. It'd probably be the fastest way. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have you go here by running. And you should be fine. You should have plenty of time to get this completed before it's like 11 o'clock. Though who knows, you are going pretty slow. Oh, maybe it's because I had you off of that. Okay, so she's going to take this sh little shortcut road here, which gets her right home in time. And there we are. All right, guys, well, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.